We're going to introduce to you uh, a new steriliser that's just come onto the market. Uh, this is a no rinse steriliser, so it really is quite exciting um, as an addition to the home accessories, home wine making accessories. Most of the sterilisers that are on the market are powerful sterilisers and cleaners. Uh, Harry Stericlean and VWP are two of the most popular uh, proprietary sterilisers on the market. But both of those sterilisers, although they do a very effective job, have the slight disadvantage that if you do get them onto your clothes, they are a bleaching agent, they will take the colour very quickly out of the clothes. Um, and you have to be very careful around children uh, because they are, they are poisonous. So they, those two sterilisers are very similar to brewery sterilisers, pipe cleaners. Um, so they, they're used in a wide range of applications, but you do need to be very careful with them. Um, what we have here is a new steriliser on the market. It's very, very effective. It's been produced by Harris Products. And um, the benefit of it is that it will sterilise all of your equipment and more. And it will clean as well. But at the same time, any steriliser that's left after one hour of contact with water is completely neutralised. So there are no health hazards assigned to this, this product at all. So I'll now show you how to mix a batch of steriliser. It really is very easy to do. There's a reclosable seal on the pack so you can put away anything that you don't use. And all you need to do is to take one teaspoonful of the powder, the steriliser powder, and add it to around one to two litres of water. The temperature of the water isn't critical. We're using warm water. Just stir that solution until the steriliser is dissolved and there's no powder left. And then that is ready to use. You need to use it fairly immediately because after one hour that solution will be neutralised. There'll be nothing left of it. That's the beauty of it. So we're going to sterilise a kiln the jar ready to make some dams and gin. So we'll just pour the steriliser into the jar. This was a bucket or a fermenter, a carboy. You could do exactly the same thing, pour solution in. It's a contact steriliser, so as soon as it touches any surface that's ready to use, ready to get sterile. So just swirl the solution around and then if you need to, you can use a sponge or a vileader type cloth and just go around any surfaces you can't reach. And as I said, as soon as the solution touches the surface, it is sterile. If there are any small parts, you can soak them in there. And then after the steriliser has been used, you can either tip it away, or in this case, we're going to pour it back into the jug so that we can show you how it can be used for some other applications. And it's up to you now. You can give that, that piece of equipment a little rinse under the tap if you feel you need to, but as I said, after one hour, it's all gone anyway, so that jar now is, is ready to use. I've kept that steriliser here because uh, I want to show you some other applications for it. This really is uh, a very versatile steriliser and cleaner, and it's got a million other uses around the house. Um, it's very good for cleaning stains and for sterilising fabrics. It will not take the colour out of of fabrics or from clothes or from carpets. So if you had a spillage on carpets or if anyone was sick, you can actually put the solution onto the, the surface to sterilize it, clean it up, and it won't affect the color of the, uh, of the clothes or the fabric. Um, another good application that we use it for all the time is if you have any crockery or kitchen utensils that are stained, uh, here we've got an example, we've got a teaspoon and a teacup which has been used a lot, has been cleaned regularly but the, uh, the tanning over time has stained the inside of that cup. All you need to do is to pour the ready-made solution into the cup, fill it to the top and then soak 
the spoon in there as well. Leave that solution there for around 20 minutes, half an hour, and then just clean it out as you normally would, and that teacup will shine like new. So the sterilizer really is great for other applications around the house as well. If you've got pets, it's ideal for keeping your house sanitized. So we've left that cup now soaking for around 20 minutes. All we need to do is to empty the solution away, get a normal dishcloth or spoon and just rinse it out as you would, clean it like you would any normal cup. Give this the spoon afterwards a little bit of a, a rub with a back of the sponge as well just rinse them both off and if you have a look there you can see that both the spoon and the cup now look like they did when they were brand new so it really is a very very versatile steriliser and cleaner and it's got a lot of applications around the house outside of home brewing but we're marketing it as a home beer and wine making steriliser it's very effective doesn't have some of the hazards that other steriliser's have um, and we envisage that this is going to be a very very popular product